Hi folks! Long time no see. It's winter out here at Stagecoach Road Sewing Machine, but we are still managing to get some cool machines off the repair bench and into new hands. And look at this beauty we've got to show you today. Don't get too many of these in here. It's a Bernina 1130. A real Bernina. A metal Bernina. Made in Switzerland. It's got lots of cool red lights and dials and knobs and nifty things. Let me just show you a few of the awesome things. I think this machine's from about the mid-80s. See, the styling is a lot like an 80s car. <laughs> but it works great. It sews great. It's Bernina all the way through and through. All the thoughtful features you've come to expect from one of the world's top sewing machine manufacturers. For instance, look at this extension bed. This is a free arm machine. This bed pops off. I'll show you that in a minute. But look at this. It's got a nice clear window right there. So when you go to do your bobbin, you don't have to take the bed off to do that. You can just get right in there. Get your bobbin case out. But let's take the bed off just because. Look at that. Real easy. This is also a metal piece. And since the machine is from the 80s, yeah, there's a little scratches on the window there, but it's still perfectly serviceable. No cracks. The machine has been used, but it has been used well and cared for. That was evident to us the minute we got going with it. All right, well, there's your bobbin and bobbin case. Pretty standard stuff. I've already got a bobbin wound here, but let me show you this bobbin winder. Look at this. You would stick your bobbin on there and then just push this over and it winds itself and it will take off when it's done. None of the turning the wheels with your hands. That's kind of hard for me because I've got arthritis in my thumbs. Okay, so this is really a neat feature. Let's just put this bobbin on in there. And, uh, can I do it like this? No, let's just raise that up. And you'll notice you might be able to see here the throat plate is marked on both sides and also has cornering guides. This machine I think was really designed for precision sewing. There's a lot, I mean precision and heirloom sewing. You know what I'm saying? We've got all kinds of utility stitches up here and then down here we've got these banks of decorative stitches that I just think are beautiful. And a lot of options of things that you can do with them. So let me just show you that while we listen to this baby. So, nice big Bernina electronic foot controller here. Isn't that? Very cool. This is an electronic machine, electronic speed control. That means full needle piercing power, even at very slow speeds. Far superior to the old rheostat style things that you'll find on most older machines. This is totally modern, kids. Okay, well let's just put this piece of denim under here. Drop our foot. And we're on straight. See, see all these nifty... Every time you push a stitch, the length and width change. They, they go to the selected, like, oh, we think that's, that's a good spot for this. But you can still change it. Look at that. Pretty fun, huh? Straight stitch, right there. Oh, I want a shorter one. Let's turn that down a bit. That. I can hit reverse here. I can hit continuous reverse right there. Look at that. I want to be able to guide that a certain way. Neat feature. Also, I've got needle stop down. Do you see that? There's a control for that too. So then I could pivot like that. Continue sewing. Now let's say I, I don't want a needle stop down the next time. Let's just take that off. It'll stop up. Ready to take out with the thing all the way up the top. You know how much sewing time and frustration that saves you just having the needle stop either up or down? That's worth a thousand bucks right there. <laughs> and I've got an orange thread on the back and a yellow one on the front. And it's a perfectly balanced stitch. Here's your tension control. This is one thing that's not computerized. There's tension discs right there. And then up through the take-up lever and down. Very good thread control system. 
Um, I agree with Bernina on this. I'd rather have a, a mechanical control of that tension, my own cell. So, well, let me show you the step motor speed thing here. Let's fold this denim over a bunch of times. Let's see, one, two, three, four, ten layers? Let's just go with this right now. Like I said, if you want to be sewing pause overhauls, it's a little too much bells and whistles, I think, for that. This is really more of a... But it has no trouble. Look at, I'm going to sew really slow on this heavy fabric. Look at that. I was telling you about the needle piercing power. That's pretty neat. Let's go back to that continuous reverse thing. I like that. It's really awesome. I don't know if you can see right there, but this machine is so precise that when you backstitch like that, it goes right in the same holes that it was in to start with. Really nice stuff there. Let me show you some of the neat things you can do with the decorative stitches on this machine, because that's where I think it really excels. I know I say really a lot. I'll save this fabric. Now let's get a new piece. Here we go. New piece. <coughs> Say you want to do some heirloom sewing. I really like to do tone on tone myself. You know, like an ivory thread on a white fabric or vice versa. And then you just get all that texture of the stitching. Right now it's got the number 20 embroidery foot on. The other foot that this machine has with it is the number 5 blind stitch foot. And we also have a um, regular general purpose foot on order. Straight to the tag one. Unfortunately, this machine didn't come with all the wonderful toys. You just get the machine, you get the case, you get the bed, you get two feet. There's a PDF manual available online for it. And tons of wonderful accessories for heirloom sewing from your Bernina dealer. But let's get back to this. Right now, I was telling you, I've got the number 20 embroidery foot on here. Applique. It's got a big tunnel under the foot, so all the decorative stitches can slide smoothly through and not distort. Let's pick, and we've got over here five banks of four stitches each. Now this section of the machine, we've also got some other controls that modify these stitches. But let's just start with stitch number, let's just go to this one. It's this really neat little snowflake stitch. And since we have snow here today, that's what I think about. Now if I, w if I wanted the third one in that bank, I would just push that two more times to get the light to go over there. But I want number 27, which is the first one in that bank. Okay, so here we go. Stitch 27. Now we're just going to let it make some snowflakes here. Notice how it picked its own length and width and needle position. It knows what it wants. Your job is to just gently hold the fabric and let the machine do the work. I want to show you something here. to do heirloom type sewing, this machine is so incredible. You get, look at this. Isn't this pretty? Oh, look at the absolute precision of that. Now, here's something. So I was telling you about, we've got five banks of four stitches each, and then we've got some modifier keys down here. If you're familiar with computers, you know what I mean. If you push this one, you will get one unit of the pattern. So it should stitch one snowflake here. And stop. Okay, turn that off. Um, this one is a left-right thing. So if you have a design that's going, has a left-right symmetry to it, you can flip it over without having to turn your fabric around. Now that's very handy for stitching like the bottom of a petticoat or something. This one elongates it, so if you want to stretch the pattern out a bit. Here's your double needle button, which will automatically keep your needle swing in the safety zone. Then you've got a memory button. If you want to combine, say, one of these, one of those, you can write all these programs in here. Like I said, there is a PDF manual for this machine available online. Uh, I'll have to ask Mike if we're going to include that with a sale or printout of it, or if you could just check that out yourself. Um, all in all, this is just an amazing machine 
for someone who's in, the, in creative sewing. You know, not only does it do all the basics very well, but you've got all this patterns and neat stuff to do. And then, like I said, the, the really awesome little touches that Bernina puts in. You've got, oh, your feed drop is over here if you want to do free motion. Just a knob on the side. Light switch is back here. And the tower switch is over on the side there. One more thing I want to show you. This is a needle position. Okay. Dual spool pins. Comes with the original Bernina case, which this part folds out to put your foot controller in and all your accessories. We've only got these two. We've got these two feet, which is number 20, and number five, and then we've got the general purpose foot. I can't remember the number for that one. Is on order, and we do have the extension bed. And all in all, if you are uh, into precision, high quality sewing machine, you just pretty much can't get any better than this for. Um, yeah, and little red lights are cool too, huh? Okay, folks, thanks for watching. If you really want to want to know more about this machine, or you want you you know that it's the one you want, send us an email and we'll get it right out to you.